So I just had a consultation and a pre-op appointment with my doctor, the sweetest man alive. Um, I came straight from the airport. Girl, it is raining here in New York City and snowing. No, not New York City. It's raining here in LA and snowing in New York City. Thank God my plane was a-okay to go because I'm, I'm hearing that there is a lot of trouble in New York City leaving and whatever whatnot. But yeah, I feel good. I feel confident in my doctor. I trust him. Um, he has so, like his resume just speaks for itself. And um, I'm just signing some agreements here and there. And yeah, my surgery will be tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And honestly, I'm trying to tell myself, and I think I believe it for sure, and um, think that this is correct. So it is the night before surgery. Oh, my eyebrows are coming off. And I have chocolate all over my mouth because baby, she can't eat after midnight. And you know, she needs to get the carbs in because she's supposed to be on a protein diet after the surgery. So tomorrow surgery, um, I have to be there at 6 a.m. And my doctor's gonna suck the life out of me. And I'm here at my friend's house. Oh my God, potato. Okay, never mind. Um, and I feel good. I'm not as nervous as I thought I was going to be. I think I'm more at ease. Um, I think it's also how my pre-op appointment went. It went super, super well. That's a weird thing to say, huh? Pre-op appointment went. Yeah, that's good. Um, but, you know, you have to have trust in your doctor. And I do trust him. And I think he's very, very qualified and he has experience years of experience and um he explained everything to me all the questions that i've had the only thing that i guess i'm like worried about is that it's not really a worry it's like oh i don't want it it's like the drains i don't want the drains like hanging out of my body uh but he said there would be a 50 50 chance i might have a drain oh potato you just crushed my nuts um and 50 chance of not having the drain so hopefully i'll be the 50 percent where i don't have the drain because it'll, life will be a lot easier hi potato look at you he has his growth on his air i told andy he needs to take it to the oh yeah that's probably a mole yeah. um or is it like a tick it's not a tick i'm gonna see the camera <gasps> who's that Who's the mm, no one needs to, needs to dog sit all the time. Mm -hmm. But going back to my doctor, sorry, it's kind of late here. Um, yeah, I hope I don't have to wear the drain a lot. And they mentioned a catheter, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know about all that. I also have a very high pain tolerance, so we'll see how it goes. Um, wish me luck, and um. If you can, please go donate to my GoFundMe. <laughs> oh my gosh, surgery day. It is 5.30. Yes. And we are on our way, baby. I am the first patient of the day, baby. Oh. Very VIP. <laughs> Sitting alone <laughs> in VIP. What? What are we going to do? Younger. My bestie, Monet, is taking Bitch, this care is shady, of me. Bitch, this is shady because you can't see me because it's dark. Yeah, but you have your pearly white tummy. They can see oh, you. Oh, my teeth do look very white. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, she's going to be taking care of me and massaging my pum pum. <laughs> and it's driving me to the surgery. All right. How do you feel, Monet? I feel excited that you are getting this bad stuff removed from you. I think that it's going to be better, obviously better for your health, and it's going to put you in a better space, and then you can get stuff done the right way and not harm yourself and kill yourself. I love how you said that, and 
put on your sick belt at the same time. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> changed in my medical garment waiting for my doctor in the waiting room now <sighs> wish me luck y'all send me some prayers so i am all marked up we filmed a little video for the doctor and i'm now getting ready for the anesthesiologist and I have my little warm blankets on. I feel like I'm really taken care of. And at ease because I know this is his specialty and he does this basically six days out of the week. Like this is what he does. Another good thing is like when you go to a lot of doctors, they fe I feel like it's kind of robotic and rushed. Here, it seems very calm and they actually care about you and I think just making you feel at ease before surgery is so important because your mind and your body is all connected, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I feel good. Mm, my gosh, this journey. You know, I could regret it, but it's another learning moment in life. And um, you go through it day by day and count your blessings. I'm happy that, um, that this mistake that I have done hasn't cost me my life because I know there's so many girls and so many individuals out there who got the silicone injection that have lost a leg and died and just, you know, horrible, horrible things. And compared to them, I'm not, like this isn't that big of a deal, but I'm getting this poison out of my body. Get it out. Oh my God, I just got out of surgery. Momo is picking me up. I thought the video of me walking in, I was like, I don't think I can do that in here though. Oh my God. I never thought that I would be into sounding, but <laughs> I have a catheter in my golden shower bag. Girl, I'll be I said we're getting kinky up in here. I'll be auctioning that off at my... To the uh, lowest bidder. To my lowest bidder. <laughs> to the my, lowest bidder. On my GoFundMe OnlyFans account. Thank you so much, Mona. You're very welcome. That's when you when, when you come out from getting anesthesia, your voice is sounding like you smoke nineteen packs of cigarettes, girl. Well, it's because they put the breathing tube down. Why? I I don't know if it's bad, but I kind of like going under because like they'll talk to you and they're like, "So, when was the last time you went to back to New York? Why well, you not know, went back?" To... And then the next time you wake up, bitch, you're done. It's kind of fierce. Oh my god! It's not hot. you being the next Michael Jackson. Don't do it. <laughs> But the surgery apparently went well. I'm not really in pain, it's just sore. I feel like I did gazillion squats and yada, 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 yada. You want a piece of cake? You get, can you eat cake? Yeah, I could eat cake. Let's talk about Magnolia. Baby, I could eat yeah. <laughs> Are you hungry? Well, I have to eat before I take my medication. Oh yeah, what do you want to eat? I don't, they said like soup, salad. I have soup at the house if you want some whole food soup. Italian wedding soup. There's yeah, also well, andouille sausage We're soup. gonna debate on this menu <laughs> and log off. I love you all so much. Um, thank you so much for all of your support and I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. Let's go.